All right, thank you, Brian. Some high schoolers in our backyard are taking a different kind of road trip this summer. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous. It is mm -hmm. a 1400 mile trip testing their science and engineering school skills all running off of solar energy. We've got part of the team here in studio this morning. First of all, introduce yourselves. Tell us who you are and what school you're at. Um, my name is Alyssa and I go to Renaissance High School. I'm okay. going to be a sophomore this year. Okay. My name is Tatiana Merritt. I go to University Preparatory Academy High School and I'm going to be a senior this year. Gotcha. Okay. So most people have no idea what the heck this is, but it's pretty amazing. You've designed a solar car to travel basically across the country. Yes. So they design a car well, this is this car has this car is from last year, okay. and we're just re we're working on it. We're rebuilding it, and it's going to travel cross country, like you said, for how many days? Seven days. Seven days. Yes. All running off of solar energy. Yes. yes. So you know, I see the shirts, the genius within. When you're working on a project like this, what are some of the factors you have to consider uh, when you're trying to power this vehicle? Of course, for seven days. What's that like? What's the process like? Well. You take it away, Clay. No, you're fine. No worries. What is it like? I mean, are you looking at where the panel should go? How long a um, charge lasts? So we work with our SMEs, the subject matter experts, and they they kind of guide us okay. through it. And there's rules, so we just go we okay. go by the guidelines and the rules and apply that to our vehicle. Has anything surprised you in the process? Not really. Okay. <laughs> I love She's that. She's that smart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is a competition, right? Yes. Can you explain what it is? Uh, we're doing a cross country race. Okay. It's, we're uh, racing. We're not really racing. We're just keeping up with the other cars, and we're going on an actual road. So we got to have to actually go uh, with the speed limit of oh, yeah. the regular cars. Okay. So we're just traveling with other cars, and then you know there's rules to how long we got to stay on the road, and when we get to take breaks, mandatory breaks. If you don't take the break, you can get points taken off. Okay. So how do they determine who wins? Hmm. Um. I'm I'm pretty sure it's determined by how, who gets the most uh, laps in on oh, the race. Okay. Got you. Okay. Do you know anything about your competitors, like who you're up against? I do not. You do not? Okay. You don't want to know your competition? No. <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> but what has this journey been like, you know, when you're learning? You, it's sort of like you're applying what you read in a textbook to real life, because we would love these solar-powered cars everywhere. So what has that been like for you both? Well, for me, it's been really fun. I get to work with a lot of different people from different schools, and it's very hands-on, and you do learn a lot. That's what it's been like for me. Yeah, you do, you do learn a lot. You get to learn about engineering and things. Are you both interested in, in STEM, possibly, down the road? Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah? <laughs> hey, what's it like, and forgive this is not a, a, to be rude, but you're young. I mean, yeah. senior, sophomore in high school, What's it like taking on something like yeah. this? Because this is a huge project. I, I think it's, it's, it's a very good opportunity. So we're introduced to it early and yeah. it's free. And, and it fits in right with your schedule very easily. For me. Yeah. So how are you feeling before you hit the road? What's that like? I'm excited. I'm very, <laughs> very happy. You're very happy? Any nerves? Yeah. No. None. No. I feel like we're going to win again this year. <laughs> Good for you. I love that confidence. Well, congratulations to you both. I know that this has been quite a journey to get to this point. And we, of course, will be watching your journey as you go from Texas to California. Right. And in fact, we're not done just yet because yeah. after the break, I'm going to head outside. The solar car is here. We're going to take a look here? at it. It's right there. Oh, live wow. On the local four plaza. <laughs> you guys built that. Yes. yes. Wow. Oh, wow. I can't so wait to see We're going to take a look more. at how it works and maybe go for a test drive. Oh, yeah? Maybe. Okay. I'm too afraid because I'll break it. Stop. No, you're not going to break it. It can hold a lot of weight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. She's throwing shit in the <laughs> here in the morning. I love it. I love it. You're my favorite. <laughs> we will get inside this ride that will be carrying this team right across the finish line when we come back. You're good to go, Nick. Welcome back, everybody, live here on the plaza with the Heroes Alliance talking again about the solar vehicle. We had the two ladies inside talking the competition. Now we're talking about the car. This thing is really cool. How does it all work, though? Can you kind of walk us through the, the engineering behind it? Well, we have a solar array that powers a battery. Where's that? In this black box, we have a battery compartment uh, filled with a battery that we power with the solar array. Okay. And that's what, you know, powers the entire vehicle uh, through all these wiring. Um, the aux that powers the other accessories such as the blinkers and whatnot. But um, 
that's what powers the entire vehicle, along with the motor, of course. Gotcha. Okay, so please forgive my ignorance. I'm going to ask you, I would assume there'd be some solar panels or something, and I don't see any. So how do you take in the sun's energy and convert it? So there's a separate solar array that's like it's its own separate thing. Okay. And so we have two batteries and we swap them. So when if that battery goes down, then we take that and charge it up with the solar array. Oh, okay. So it's separate. Right. It's not on the car. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming you're probably the uh, what are the subject matter expert? Is that what they called you inside I'm the SME? Okay. How how fun is this to take high school kids, give them an opportunity to do something that they, they normally couldn't do? Yeah. So it's a genius within every student, right? It's our responsibility as adults is to bring that out. Sometimes I say I'm one of the biggest kids, but <laughs> my job is to make sure that they're safe and to guide them while they're building the vehicle. And they really do once you lay out the basic concepts of the platform and what they need to do just you know give them the freedom and they can go that's so, so cool okay so you guys are you're putting this on the trailer taking it down to texas and then the competition goes from texas to california is that right yes that's right all right so how do you determine the winner like how is all this adjudicated um just being the best <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah i guess i mean we won last year. I mean, the same design and everything. So, okay. uh, we we of course made improvements over the year to fit the new criteria of the new race. Right. Uh, since this is a cross country race, we had a whole new criteria. But we're hoping to win. We're okay. hoping to win, of course. So, are they judging by speed, miles? How do they do it? The most number of miles. Okay. So, whoever has the most number of road miles of, with the vehicle, that's who the top winner is. And then they have other categories: engineering, design. You know, so they have coolest categories. paint job. Well, maybe <laughs> <laughs> that okay. is a cool job. What's it like to be reigning champs going into this, and you know, kind of hoping for a number two? Well, this is my first year in this program. So no pressure. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I really do hope that we win this year, especially with being part of the designing of this new model of the car and putting some uh, extra stuff on it. So like the bumper and such to make it more aerodynamic. And so I'm really excited and I really hope that we get that first place. Right. Okay. So last question, who gets the, uh, the responsibility of driving it? Do you switch out or is it one person? We have two drivers. They are unfortunately not here today, but uh, they're, they're resting. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're resting right now, but we have two drivers that we swap out every, every X amount of time. Okay. Uh, so, you know, they don't burn out, but we also have a technician uh, that we also circle circulate around to, you know, take care of the It's like a traveling pit stop. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much, yeah. All right, thank you so much for getting up early. I appreciate it. Thank this you. is so cool. You've got to be so proud thank of these you. kids. Absolutely. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, all right. So, Priya, I, listen, every time we have a group like this on the show, I look at this, I look at them, and then I look at myself, and I'm like, what happened? What? Yeah, what were <laughs> we doing at that age? Here. But I got to ask you, I thought you were going right. to get in and drive it around. You know, A, I think I would break it going in, and B, this is their competition car. If okay. anything goes yeah, wrong, you're right. you're right. I can't afford to fix it. No, absolutely. But so cool to see the genius <laughs> that's right here in Detroit. Thank you so much, Nick, and way to yeah. go, guys. Mm -hmm.